When it's time to replace your well pressure tank, no matter what the issue is, it's time to replace it. Whether it's leaking, whether the bladder burst, doesn't really matter. You need to determine, do I have the right size tank in there currently? Or do I need to upgrade to a bigger one or maybe a smaller one? A lot of homes that are built in subdivisions, the builders will just buy you know, 300, 35 gallon or 40 gallon pressure tanks and put it in every house, no matter what the size. Well, you need to determine whether or not your replacement is going to be the same, bigger or smaller. How do you do that? I'm going to show you in this video. I have a chart that I'm going to show you in a minute. But if you happen to have a service come out and they're replacing your well pump, you know, 100, 120 feet deep down in your well, they can tell you the gallons per minute of your well pump. And then you can determine your drawdown of your house, which is the drawdown of the water. That can determine the size of your tank. Most people don't know the GPM of their well pump. So the easiest way to figure it out, you count all the fixtures in your home. And I'm gonna show you a chart on how to just take a look at it. And you can determine real quickly. But you count all the fixtures in your home, inside, outside, every shower head, every outside spigot. Get that number and I'll show you the chart to determine the chart that's going to give you your minimum tank size and I'm going to give you a little advice on what to do. So you counted all your fixtures. Let's say you have 12 fixtures in your home total. You're going to fall right in between the 10 to 13 fixtures. Your estimated well pump is probably around 12 gallons per minute and you're going to need a minimum tank size of 52 gallons. Now my home has 16 fixtures which is right here. So I'm on the high end of this. It's requiring a 65 minimum tank size, but I always like to go one tank size bigger. It's a lot easier on your well pump to go bigger. You definitely do not ever want to go smaller. So in this case, I got the 86 gallon tank for my home. So why is the size of your well pressure tank important? Well, look at it this way. I have a light bulb right here. Pretend I have a toggle switch here, and I just go on, off, on, off, on, off, all day long, all weekend. That's what's gonna happen if you have too small of a well pressure tank. Your well pump is gonna go on, off, on, off, to service all the faucets in your home. Now, if you have the right size tank or slightly larger, just picture flipping that light switch on, it's gonna stay on for a while and then shut off. So you have a lot less cycles throughout the day. So you have less electricity and it's gonna make your well pump last a lot longer. Go by the chart that I showed you. And if you're on the high end, go up one. Don't ever go down. Hope this video helps you out and thanks for watching.